Welcome back all to the barber shop. <clears throat> we are open for business. Have a seat. As soon as we're done with this guy in the camera, you'll be next. All right. <clears throat> Today we're giving him a head shave. Uh, not just any head shave though. We are going to use the Mueller R102 which is an R41 head on a um, synthetic acrylic whatever handle. It's just another option they offer you. We'll be using uh, Barrister and Man Diamond Soap. It's supposed to smell like a ball game. To me it smells like wet grass, but we'll see. Alright, let's set the razor up. We're going with the cap. One blade. Excuse me. No, we're not. We're going to do the cap. One spacer. See, I just cut the blades off and I took some of the edge off for overhang. Then we're going with a blade. It's got just a hair of overhang. Blade on top of the spacer. And then three spacers. Somehow I just got tangled up. I just got them all mashed together. All right. There we go. Then the final blade. Then the base plate. The washer. And the handle. you guys can see this doesn't like to focus up close can you see the blade gap you probably can't even tell there's two blades in there all right but it's an aggressive razor to use two blades and we're using Gillette Platinums okay let's wet the head So, and let's pre-shave. Our Maceto 30 millimeter, and I'm using the chicken soup. Oh, there's a lot of lather, but this brush likes to suck it up. This is a thirsty brush. I soaked this brush for about a half an hour before I use it. I put it in here with hot water before I go in the shower. When I get out of the shower, I have to refill this bowl because it's empty. There wasn't even a tablespoon in it today, like there was last time. So I put more water in it, let it soak. 
don't know if you can see. It's it's only half full now. It, it still sucked up another half a bowl of water. But as thirsty as this brush is, it feels great on the head. All right, now that I got my swimming cap on. Twin blade, R41 head. This might not be a good idea. I have my leaf right here with two feathers. That would be the third use if I have to use it. But let's see. I'm not putting any pressure, guys, because I did not serve with General Custer, and I do not want this to be my last stand. Sorry, there's something flying around in here. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Again absolutely no pressure. The head of this razor is heavy enough that I'm just letting it do the work. Now those platinum blades, they're not feathers. And they're not persona, persona lap blues or persona med preps. But let me tell you what, the platinums are plenty damn sharp enough. That's, that's pretty smooth already. It's not baby butt. It's not squeaky clean. I thought about putting a feather, two feathers in the R41. Maybe in a future date I will. But I wanted to try it on my head first before I went and got crazy with the, with feathers. Besides that, I've got to order feathers next month when I get paid. i got to get some more in. I've only got two left. And I'm trying to save them for my leaf because it works best with the feathers. You can use any DE razor to shave your head. But that leaf is just no thought about it. You just put it on there. It sets the angle for you. As long as you don't put pressure on it, you're golden. It'll just glide over your head. And before you know it, you're done. Okay. Cross the green, I guess.
letting the razor work, guys. Not putting any pressure on that puppy. Just enough to hold it against my skin. That's it. I'm scraping a lot of toast here. This is that's I don't know if you can hear it, but that's I'm scraping a lot of flipping toast. It's like I burnt a whole loaf of bread. Now I'll give the soap credit for one thing. It's not really my scent. If you like the smell of wet grass or cut grass, I don't mind the smell of cut grass. Then this soap is great for you. Get it. Just it's not in my wheelhouse. I I prefer much darker scents. Jeez. skin left on my head after this one. <sighs> Ready? Last one. Well, maybe pickups. Probably pickups. I got my trouble spots that this won't even get. I don't think. See that? I'm just going over these spots until I stop hearing toast scrape. If I pressed in with this razor now, I'd be able to take my skin and just flop it back. I can feel that blade laying on my skin. Oh, 
both of them, I should say. But you actually only feel one. When I get done with this and go to clean this out, underneath that bottom blade, there's going to be so much hair. It'll be black underneath it. That's the way my leaf is every time I clean it. And every time I've done the the twin blade hack on any razor, it's done the same thing. The thing about the twin blade is I can't use it with a butterfly razor. I have my adjustables, but the butterfly mechanism won't allow. I think I can get one spacer in or one extra blade, but two blades on top of each other is just a edge that's twice as thick trying to cut. If you don't have a spacer between them to give them room to work, you've just got one thicker blade. Pull the skin tight so I get the channel on the back of my head. I haven't seen any pink yet, so that's always a good sign. didn't go far enough down on the back of my head. Back of my neck was still hairy. Oh, that one skipped. That might have been a, a nick. Still scraping toast. I'm surprised with this razor and two blades. Yeah, I was supposed to do something today and it got canceled till tonight. So I figure I might as well come in and shave my head while I have time. Because we were supposed to go this morning. But like I said, it got canceled and they wanted to do it tonight. smooth. That is really, really, really smooth. Run some water here. Get my cloth wet. Hot water. Get the, get the sticky off. I 
I had a bump on the back of my head. It was, there was a mosquito out on my porch and it got me on the back of the freaking head the other day, yesterday. He died for his efforts, but he did get blood. And I think I opened it up. Yeah, I did. I did open it up. Mr. Mosquito got me twice. Oh, that too. Didn't see that. Okay. Alan Block. Oh yeah, that was a close shave. Yeah, there's a whole layer of skin missing there, all over. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's skin missing everywhere. That's like a three and a half on a one to ten scale. Ooh. Ended up being with Custer on his last stand anyways. Alright. Let's get this cloth cold now. Well, warm anyways. The water here is never cold. It's too warm outside. We're still seeing temperatures in the mid 80s, 82 to 84 every day. What is that for you guys in Celsius? 30, I guess? Something like that. And it's almost October, and we're still seeing those temperatures. Plain Witch Hazel. Oh yeah, that's, I don't squeak, but it's, it's, it squeaks, it's squeaky. And to finish it off, a nice shot of menthol. And you know how much I love menthol. But on my head, not so bad, because it's not shooting up my nose. And I know exactly every spot that I opened up on my head now. Is it the alum the alum block lit up my whole head because I took a layer of skin off. But this this let me know every bump on my head and spot that got opened up. But you know you're alive, huh? And my baby lotion that I like to use on my head to stay baby butt smooth. Oh, that feels good. Alright, guys. Take care of yourselves out there. Take care of your skin. When I did my You Can Shave for a Year for under $30, I didn't include alum, witch hazel, or aftershave balm. They're not, the aftershave is necessary. That's the one that's necessary because it's got the alcohol in it or witch hazel if it's alcohol free. That cleans up, keeps, cloaks, it cleans your pores and closes them. But otherwise, you really don't need the other stuff. And if you're married, I'm sure your wife has a bottle of uh, lotion around for she uses it on her hands or her feet or anything. It's fine. All those lotions are the same. I don't care what it says on the label. They're all the same. 
All right, so you can use it on your head and your face. All right, guys, take care. I already did my blue shave, posted it the other day, or Saturday morning early. So you all take care. And Kim, prayers are with you. Take care, everybody. Happy shaves out there.